Hi, I'm Dr. Achal Panth and today I'm going to be telling you about weight loss. What are the small changes that you can make in your diet and in your lifestyle that can help you lose some weight. I usually make videos only on skin and hair care but this was a highly requested topic so I'm making an exception. I hope you'll find this video useful. I'll be breaking this video into two parts. In the first part, I'll be discussing what are the small changes that you can do to become more active. And in the second part, I'll be discussing the dietary changes. What are the small changes that you can make in your diet that will really help you in losing weight. At the end of the video, I'll be telling you things that you need to avoid if you're trying to lose weight. And these may be certain factors that are contributing to you not losing weight. So stick till the end of the video. So first and foremost, we have to understand that each body type is different. Okay, everybody cannot be very thin and skinny and we are not aiming to be skinny. Okay, everybody's body structure is different. So we are just aiming to be fit. That is much more important than just being thin. So first you should start by setting a goal for yourself and this goal has to be achievable achievable in terms of how it fits into your daily routine and you should be able to do it and also carry it on for a long time. A goal like losing 10 kilo weight in the next one or two months is not achievable for most people. Okay, so I suggest that you set small goals like two kilograms every month. That should be your goal. Along with that goal, you have to set how many minutes in the day will you be able to exercise and what other dietary changes that you'll be making. So setting a goal in mind is very important. First, start by calculating your body mass index. The formula to calculate your body mass index is dividing your weight in kilograms by your height in meter square. This should be between 18 to 25. If you are above 25, then that means that you are overweight. And if this value is above 30, that means you are obese. We'll discuss about exercising or including some kind of activity into your daily routine. So see, when you want to lose weight, I would suggest that don't just go and take this expensive membership at a gym, you know, you will not follow this through. Okay, imagine you have like, let's say one hour to work out, one, two hours before you get to work and you have to get down from your building, take your car, drive to the gym, park your car there and then go up the gym and work out and come back again. Just the thought of this will make you very lazy. So I suggest if you're just starting out with your workout, start with something that you can do at home just for 15 minutes. So it can be like a jog or like just skipping or jumping or doing like a cardio exercise that you can see on, on YouTube. So there are a lot of workout videos on YouTube that you can look into and do something for just 15 minutes. It can be something like walking up and down the stairs in your building or going for a light jog around the area in which you live or in a park nearby. Starting with a small goal like just 15 minutes or 20 minutes will make it more achievable. So just get up and do some exercise. It can even be like Surya Namaskar. So you can do Surya Namaskar about 15, 20 times. If you enjoy dancing, if you enjoy music, you can just play on some good music and do some dance moves or jump for some 15, 20 minutes. This can really elevate your mood as well as be a good cardio workout. So I would suggest that start with something small. Start with just 15 minutes of making your body active and this will really make a difference. Also psychologically, you'll get up and you feel that it's just 15 minutes. This you can squeeze in any part of your day. I know working out is not something very easy and doesn't come naturally, especially to somebody who has a desk job and you know, we are sitting all day. It, it is difficult to just start working out. But if you think of it as a short, time period if you think of it at just 15 minutes it really makes it easy so my suggestion would be to do something small for just 15 minutes at home when you're beginning if you are a mother who has to take care of kids get you know getting them up in the morning and then sending them off to school preparing their lunch then i suggest that after the kids go off to school you can just take out about 15 20 minutes and then do this activity rather than getting up earlier in the morning that will just add on to a little bit of stress after your kids go off to school you can just take out this 15 20 minutes to yourself and do something at home once you get into the rhythm of exercising every day then you can scale it Okay, then you can make it up to half an hour to an hour depending upon how it fits into your 
daily schedule so make sure that you plan your workout in certain way that does not uh, put a lot of pressure on time management for you okay. so once you're regular with doing these small workouts at home then you can go ahead and take that gym membership and it is more likely that you'll follow through and go to the gym regularly so see gymming is definitely better because there you will be doing a little bit of weight training along with cardio that is always helpful in strengthening your muscle so even if you're looking at losing weight or just toning up your body doing light weights for men and women both is important so women tend to get scared of doing weights they feel that they look more muscular and more manly absolutely not if you do light weights it is just going to tone your arms better and tone your thighs without making you look muscular okay for you to be muscular you have to lift very heavy weights which is not recommended so lifting like just 3 or 5 kilos of weight can really help you in toning your body and making your muscles more tight and also help you in losing weight faster now we move on to the second part which is the changes that you need to make in the diet which is also equally important and sometimes more difficult so first you have to make sure that you're taking your meals on time do not skip any meal whenever you skip a meal you definitely tend to overeat on your next meal also you have that craving to snack okay you have that craving for unhealthy snacking occurs when you missing a meal so you fix your breakfast time your lunch time and your evening snack which can be about 5 o'clock and then your dinner so this has to be fixed so even if you don't feel very hungry at breakfast you can just carry a fruit with you or some nuts which can fill you up if you do miss that breakfast then you will tend to overeat at lunch or if you skip that 5 o'clock small snack then you tend to overeat in the meal at dinner so it's better to always eat at fixed intervals if you have a 9 to 5 job or a 9 to 7 job and then you get home at about 7 to 8 in the evening then i suggest that you carry a box of fruits or a few nuts with you to have in the evening at about 4 or 5 o'clock this way you will not feel like overeating at dinner also you should make sure that you finish your dinner at least 2 hours before sleeping you don't want to just finish eating and directly go to bed always start your meals with a portion of salad this will help in filling up your stomach and also will reduce overeating okay so you'll not want to take that extra portion of rice or that extra roti if you've started out with salad the salad can be just chopped cucumber carrots or tomatoes you can just sprinkle some salt and black pepper on it and also add a few drops of lemon okay so this salad can be had before every meal otherwise if you like sprouts they are the best so sprout salads are also very filling and nutritious good for hair and skin as well you can also replace your breakfast with a smoothie Uh, there are many smoothie recipes available you can go for something like a green smoothie in which you put spinach and half a ripe banana and then you can put cucumber and carrot and uh, chia seeds and flax seeds the base can be either coconut water or just plain water and you can add a small pinch of ginger to add a little bit of flavor all this can be put in a blender and blended until it's very smooth and you can drink this in the morning you can also add in some oats to make it a little thick and this can be a replacement for your breakfast this will fill up your stomach and is also quite healthy cutting down on your sugar intake is very important this is something that everybody knows but it is very difficult to do so i suggest by first cutting down your tea intake if you drink a lot of tea and coffee on a daily basis like more than 2 cups a day then you really want to cut down to it and drink only 2 cups okay because a lot of sugar goes into tea and coffee and unknowingly you're consuming a lot of sugar so instead of it you can just drink some green tea so green tea but on its own is not going to help you in losing weight or you know like cut down your body fat but until you exercise and you make other changes in your diet just drinking multiple cups of green tea is not going to help you in losing weight so sugar actually camouflages the taste of coffee and tea okay so once you start cutting down on sugar you will really start liking the way the tea tastes 
So initially it will be a little difficult but you will definitely get used to it. I promise you you will definitely get used to drinking uh, tea and coffee without sugar. Okay, so you can start by uh, just adding very little sugar. Then you can slowly completely stop taking sugar in your tea and coffee. So cut down on your sugar intake. If you have a sweet tooth and you take a lot of mithai, start cutting down on that. You can take it maybe once in a week, but not daily. Also, cutting down on aerated drinks is very, very important. That is the worst source of sugar. So please do not take any aerated drinks and try to stay away from it as much as possible. Later in the video, I'll tell you what you can replace your aerated drinks with. So I suggest that rather than making these drastic changes in your meals, which are very difficult to sustain and to follow up, it is better to look for replacements, okay? So let's say if you have a habit of having a lot of chips, Okay, so you can replace it with something crunchy like a makhana or popcorn that is made at home in less ghee and oil. So you can replace it with something crunchy so that you get that chewing motion without adding on to the calories. Okay, so instead you can just chew on some makhana or some roasted chana. You can keep it in a box next to you. So you can just chew on that. That will reduce your craving to have any kind of banana chips or potato chips. If you feel like having some sweets, instead of going something with a lot of sugar or some dessert, you can have a piece of date or a slice of fig. Okay, so you can have a fig or a date or a sweet fruit like grapes or mango when it's the season for it or any kind of sweet fruit. Okay, so this will just reduce your craving for something sweet. So whenever we want to have something sweet, we just want to go and grab a bar of chocolate or a mithai. So instead of that, if you keep some fruits or if you keep these fig or dates handy, then you can just take a little bit of it, which can really satisfy that craving for sweet. If you're addicted to aerated drinks and you drink like a Coke, Coke or a Pepsi with every meal, then you want to replace it with either a fresh juice or you can just have soda with a little bit of jalzeera in it and a little bit of lemon. So this will, you know, kind of satisfy your uh, craving for having something aerated along with your food, but will also not add in your calories. So replacing that with either jalzeera pani or soda with a little bit of jalzeera or having just fresh fruit juice will really help. Also, I suggest cutting down on portions then completely depriving yourself, okay? We are looking at dietary changes as certain changes that you make in your lifestyle for a long term. So it has to be sustainable. You don't want to go for something very drastic that you'll not be able to follow through. So rather than completely depriving yourself, cut down the portion. You want to have the sabudana khichdi, have it, but in a small portion. You want to go for that mithai, have it, but just a small portion and maybe just once in a week. Okay, so rather than completely depriving yourself for a month, you can have whatever you want, but try to control the portions. Even that will help. Now I'll tell you things that you need to absolutely avoid if you want to lose weight and keep the weight off. And these can be things that are actually obstructing you from losing more weight. First and foremost, please do not follow these fat diets, these keto diets and low, no carb diet. This You will not be able to sustain it for life. This is good if your aim is to lose weight for a short period of time or you know you are aiming for some photo shoot or before a wedding if you want to lose weight, then it might help. But if you are trying to look at it for long term and trying to keep your weight off for a long time, then these diets are not going to help you. Okay, it is better to make small changes in your daily routine and in your regular meals than going for something drastic and completely changing up your meal. You will not be able to sustain it and that is the truth. Even if you do shed this weight, it is just going to come back because it will not be able to comply to these kind of strict diets. So I suggest that you make the changes that I mentioned before, like cutting down on your portion, starting with a salad and searching for replacements rather than going for something that is very, very drastic that you will not be able to sustain for long. Second is starving yourself, okay? So if you are really trying to be on the soup diet or salad diet or just grilled fish chicken diet or a paneer diet, you will not be able to sustain it. Food is a fundamental human need, okay? You cannot curb it by just having the same type of paneer and the same type of chicken and fish every day. You will bounce back and you will go back into eating and you know, you will want to have the unhealthy diets. You will want to have those unhealthy snacks or get up at 2 a.m. at night and then want to go for that bag of chips. 
okay so you really want to make changes that can be sustainable that is the most important part so if you want to take anything from this video take this point that whenever you make these changes ask yourself is it sustainable only if it is sustainable will you actually see it through and carry it forward starving yourself having only soup and salad is not going to be sustainable in the long term so you don't want to do it don't starve yourself you'll just try to compensate for that craving by going for junk food or reaching out for something even more unhealthy try to stay away from outside food and preserved food as much as possible okay so with swiggy and uber eats it has become very easy and convenient to order out so even if you want to eat out maybe once in a week uh, you can but if you want to do it more often than that then that is not a healthy option for you okay having a home prepared meal is always better because you know what is going in and also you tend to always use less oil home prepared food is always less oily and more healthy than outside food okay and it's always freshly prepared so if you're working and don't have a cook to help you out you can do small meal preps on sundays you can make some masala and keep it in the fridge so that you can just add it on to your vegetables this can be an easy option for you but eating out and ordering in is not a very good option even if you do want to order in you can go for something that is steamed or baked or something that is not fried okay and even in the gravy they tend to put a lot of oils having freshly made home cooked food is the best option Another factor that could really be hampering your weight loss journey is falling for these gimmicky claims such as energy drinks, weight loss drinks and tablets to lose weight or drinking apple cider vinegar to lose weight. There is nothing that you can eat or drink that is going to make you lose weight. So please do not fall for these claims. So don't go for these expensive drinks, these powders that are going to make you lose weight. Absolutely not. For weight loss, you have to exercise and you have to eat healthy. There is no shortcut and there is no easy way to get it done. There is nothing that the celebrity is taking that is making them lose weight faster. Everybody is working out and eating healthy. That is the only only way to lose weight. There is no other way. Okay, so you need to understand that so you do not waste money in all these uh, tablets and drinks and uh, sachets that claim that they are going to make you lose weight. One of the options is surgery. So if you are very overweight and your BMI is more than 30 and it is hampering your health, you have difficulty in breathing and sleeping, then I suggest you to consider bariatric surgeries. Okay, bariatric surgeries are quite safe and they will really help you in shedding that in weight out. So if you are morbidly obese and it will be very tough for you to suddenly start losing a lot of weight, it can put a lot of pressure on your knees and on your overall health in general. So going for bariatric surgery may help. But remember that eating healthy and exercising is very very important even after you undergo that surgery. Okay, so if you are morbidly obese, I am talking about BMI of over 30 and 40, then going for a bariatric surgery is a good option for you. So this is my first video on the topic of weight loss. I hope I have answered most of your questions. If you want some of the topics to be covered in depth, you can let me know in the comment section below. If you like such health related content focused on skin and hair, you can follow me on my Instagram handle Dr. Achal MD. I post such content daily. You can also follow us on our other social media handles such as Facebook and Twitter. Thank you for watching.